Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Okay, hope you guys have enjoyed the last video. This video is going to be continuation of the next, uh, the last video, and this will be three part series. Okay, so hope you guys have learned something from that video, and I want you guys to have that kind of dedication and determination and passion to learn the rest of the uh, rest of the information. So I want you guys to continue watching this video till the end so that you learn. Okay, don't skip the video. Don't try to learn. Ever. Don't try to do it everything at once okay to go slow and please like and subscribe to my channel and share this videos with your friends so that they can also learn thank you let's see you on the other side so as i said this is going to be three part series or so in <coughs> so in this video we are going to cover about kill zones okay last video we have covered about market maker buy model and sell model how to identify market maker buy model and sell model and how to determine what are you going to do for the day are you going to be a buyer or are you going to be a seller? If you have not watched the video, please go and watch it again clearly. That video is going to help you to determine what you guys have to do today. Because as a traders, we have two choices. The two choices are either buy or sell. But to be a profitable trader, you need to make a decision that I am going to do only one thing. That is, I'm going to either buy or I'm going to either sell. And how to come to conclusion, are you going to buy, are you going to be a buyer or a seller? That is what I have thought in the last video so before we continue to the next video i want you guys to watch one two three four five six seven eight nine nine days and in nine days i want you guys to notice one thing i want you guys to notice one thing do you in any of the nine days do you have market starting from here and here has gone up there can you see anything can you see any day that market has straight away gone up or market has straight away come down? Have you seen that? Can you see it? Regardless of what ha happens, market is going up and coming down. Market is going up and market is going coming down. Market is going up, market is coming down. Market is going down, then up, then 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 down, 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 up, down, down. So up and down so market is doing zigzag every single day regardless of anything why am i telling you this why see basics are more important okay thinking that if i learn smart money concepts that i am going to be profitable trader i'm going to make money every single trade i take is the false attitude of a trader or a wrong thought process and a wrong mindset why am i showing you this up down up down up down is because after watching yesterday's video, if you come to conclusion that you have to be only one person, either you're going to be a buyer or either you're going to be a seller. If you make that decision, okay, today, if I'm going to be a buyer, you know, market, you are going to get a buy opportunity every single day. This is what I want to clear you guys. Please don't deviate from the strategy. If I said, if you decide to be a seller, you have a sell opportunity. If you decide to be a buyer in this up uh, th in this bullish day, you have a selling opportunity. If you decide to be a buyer in this down day, you have opportunity to be a opportunity to take a buys. Regardless of what the day happens, you have a buy and a sell opportunity every single day. The job is one thing that you make a decision: Are you going to be a buyer or a seller today? understand are you going to be a buyer or a seller today that is the one decision you have to make simple period and nothing else because why because if you decide i am going to become a buyer okay only only buyer that means out of 50 percent if your strategy is 50 percent win rate you have already won 25 percent by not executing on the wrong side right lowering your probability of losing is the job of a trader okay the number of less trades you take the probability increases of winning the more the probability increases of winning so let's continue to the video let's continue to the strategy okay in the previous video we have spoken about market maker sell model okay market maker sell model and market maker buy model right market maker buy model let me draw this give me a second because if someone is watching this video for the first time i want you guys to go and watch it watch the previous video so this is market maker sell model this is market maker buy model 
so once you see market maker sell model happening on the previous on the daily time frame your job is to become a buyer if you see market maker buy model happening your job is to become a seller right now let us use kill zones now let us use kill zones so for us as a trader for this strategy asian session doesn't contribute much cbdr doesn't contribute much or nothing else only london session and new york session contribute to the strategy for this strategy to for you to implement the strategy i want you guys to uh, find this kill zone boxes okay find the kill zone boxes indicators kill zone uh, ICT, you know, some ICT kill zone boxes by Brian WH2121 or something. Go and download this and in the settings section, I want you guys to have 2 to 5, 7 to 10. That are the settings. Okay. 5 and 10 are not important for us. 2 and 7. 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. are important for us. Right. 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. are important for us. Right. You, what you have to do is the next step is you have to go on 2 a.m. candle and focus on the opening price. The opening price is over here. Go and go on the go on the 2 a.m. candle and focus on the opening price. The opening price of the 2 a.m. candle is 1.00913. Right. Now you go to settings and you draw 1.00913. So now this this price becomes and everything remember guys this should be negative for new york please don't keep on asking me about the time zone time zone time zone this is it negative new york is a time zone i don't care about daylight savings and this and that blah 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 chip negative new york is the time zone okay so now 2 a.m opening price is the most important price for us the same way you go on 7 a.m candle and look for the opening price the opening price is 371 1.371 okay so this is our opening price for new york okay okay so now you have understood this so now you have understood this the opening price is most important for us now let's say you have come to conclusion from after watching daily time frame you come to conclusion that today you are going to be a seller today you are going to be a seller if you are going to be a seller what is you what all things do you need you need according to premium and discount according to be premium and discount you need to be in premium to sell right according to premium and discount you need to be in premium to sell right you need to be premium you need to be into premium to sell discount is out of the window i don't care anything market is doing in discount my whole focus is to sell and i am going to sell in premium that's it so what is the premium if you take your fibs and place it over here anything about 2 am opening price is premium anything below 2 a.m. price is discount if i am a seller today if i decide i'm going to sell and market opens in london session and market is below 2 a.m. open that day that london session is useless for me that day that london session is useless for me if i want to be a seller i am expecting london session to be above the opening price of the london session that's it over here and see in this video i'm not going to speak about executions or which what candlestick pattern to look for executions okay i'm only teaching you guys premium and discount and time zones okay focus so this day what happens market starts goes down and starts going up 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 and here we have we got a sell entry and we sold from here we have a sells in london session so same way same way let me take this London time out. Okay, let me take this London time out. If I draw FIPS once again, and if I want to be a seller today, if I want to be a seller today, and I draw this on 7 a.m. opening price, anything above 7 a.m. opening price is premium. Anything below 7 a.m. opening price is discount. And because I have made a decision that I'm going to be a seller, if price goes above 7 a.m. open, I am looking for sales. And we have a sales in New York session. 
so hope you guys have understood something making a decision i am going to go slow with you guys so that you understand ict concepts in such a easy way possible i am not going to give you all the information in the one video i'm not going to give you entire information in one video i am going to give you i'm going to go very slow with you guys so that you understand this we understand this concepts in easiest and easiest way possible so what are the steps the steps is first identifying a market maker buy model or sell model market maker buy model or market maker models identification of market maker buy model or sell model once you identify market maker buy model sell model then identify what are you going to be if you are going to be a buyer if you are going to be buyer price has to be below price has to be below note this down guys price has to be below the london open and new york open price has to be below london open and new york open if you decide to be a seller price has to be above the london open and new york open above this is below this is above right that's what you have to do this is it this is it the next step is entry we are going to do entry pattern in the next video so now let me show you from start to finish with an example how you are going to do this okay on daily time frame so okay how we are going to do this on daily time frame so the same example euro usd comparing previous three candles do you see any engulfing pattern guys there is no engulfing pattern do you see a bearish engulfing pattern a market goes up and comes down we have a market maker sell model once we have a market maker sell model our job is to decide that okay next day until and unless market comes and breaks this high we are going to be buyers until and unless we, this bearish candle gets engulfed we are going to be buyers simple simple so now this three days we are going to decide that we are going to be buyers so now as i said okay we have seen okay we have seen market maker sell model and because market maker sell model is formed we have decided to become buyers now let's go on lower time frame and see for past three days what market has done okay what market has done we are going to analyze this three days right this three days so now the second step is after identification of market maker buy model sell model identification of the opening price this is the opening price identification of the opening price this is the opening price right so now if we are buyers if we are buyers we are buying in discount what we are buying in discount and what is discount below the opening price is the discount i'm just drawing this i'm not just drawing so that this is discount and this is premium so below the opening price is the discount so market goes below discount comes 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 and we have a buy opportunity over here on lower time frames that is what we are going to learn in the next video and we have a buys and we have a buys market starts over here market is coming down 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 we have a buying opportunity we get stopped out we have another buying opportunity and this is how we have made money okay market we are a buyers and market is below the opening price of the session and we have a buying opportunity entry and exits will be shown in the next video and we guys are going to get stopped out we have to be okay with it okay let's go to the next day still next day starts draw opening price this is 2 am this is opening price of 2 am market goes above because we are a buyers above opening price is none of our concern so we let market come below the opening price market comes below opening price there we have a buy entry over here and boom we make money we make money and we still we are still buyers this is 7 am opening price market goes below the opening price boom we have a buying opportunity over here and we have a buys so see making a decision okay i am going to be only a buyer gives takes takes you away okay doesn't makes you sell over here does in this uptrend market is not allowing you to sell because just because you are a buyer you are not focused on selling you're just focused on holding the trade for the buys that's it so let's do it for the last day because we're still into the buying zone we're still into the buying zone market starts and market is going up 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 market starts 2 a.m and market is going up this is none of our concern and then market falls boom market falls and we have a buying opportunity over here and market goes up entries and exits will be thought in the next video so let's go on 7 am we're still buyers in 7 am market is going down 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 and we have a buying opportunity and market goes up 
See, identification of market rate maker buy model, sell model, identification of either you're going to be a buyer or a seller, then identification of whether if you are a buyer, is market below the opening price of the session? If you are a seller, is market above the opening price of the session? So hope you guys have learned something from this video. I'm going to cut this video over here. Next video is going to be about entry and exits and how you're going to how to manage risk. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. 100 likes on this video. I will be I will be coming up with entry and exits. The third video will be there only after I have 100 likes on the last video and this video. Thanks guys for sticking for so long. Hope from Monday tomorrow onwards your trading journey is going to have a different outlook. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Peace.